I'm Sterling. Today we're going to take a moment to reflect on God's immutability, His unchanging nature. But before we do, let's prepare our hearts and mind by reading from God's Word together. When I was a kid growing up in a small rural town in southwest Ohio, one of the highlights of the summer every year was the county fair. My brothers and I would ride our bikes to the fairgrounds, we'd, we'd spend most of the money that we had earned that summer on food and games and of course, carnival rides. As an adult, I now look at these rides as, as devices of torture, but as a kid, they were the pinnacle of fun. There was one ride in particular that was reserved for the most courageous among us, the Gravitron. This ride would spin so fast that it would pin the riders against the wall with the centrifugal force it created, suspending you off your feet and onto the wall. If you managed to survive the ride, part of the challenge was to find the exit where the world around you continued to still spin. And once you made it off the ride, your only hope was to find anything that wasn't moving just to stabilize yourself. You had to find something solid until the world around you stopped spinning. To say that God is immutable is to say that he's constant and unchanging. Tozer in the knowledge of the holy simply says that God never differs from himself. The author of Hebrews writes, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. This aspect of the nature of God is foundational to all the other qualities that we have and, and will continue to focus on. He's always and fully loving, always and fully good, always and fully just. Because God does not change, we understand that he neither becomes more of who he is, nor can he become less of who he is. He's not growing into something more or better because he's perfect in every aspect of who he is. All that God is, he has always been, and all that he has been and is, he will ever be. We live in a world that is constantly changing. We're constantly changing. We attempt to navigate this ongoing state of flux, much like those exiting a carnival ride, disoriented, confused, looking for something stable to cling to among the chaos. It's the very nature of God, his unchanging character that provides us with something to stabilize ourselves, a constant that is solid and consistent and reliable. It's the unchanging nature of God that is the standard that informs our spiritual formation. It's the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives is shaping us to be people who are growing to more closely resemble him in his goodness, his unconditional love and his unending compassion. He does not change, but we are meant to be changed, to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And I don't know what awaits you today or what preceded you yesterday. Today, as you take a moment to reflect on who God is, place your feet firmly on the solid ground that he is immutable. Live out of the stability of knowing that even as the world changes and shifts around you, we serve a God who is constant. As he said to the people of Israel through the prophet Malachi, I, the Lord, do not change. We tend to act or believe that we could change God or that our disobedience or sin would or could change God's never-ending love or mercy. That we could do something to make God tired of us. Take time today to write down on a, a post-it note or a card the attributes of God that you feel tempted to think could change. Do you think you could do anything that could impact God's mercy or his love for you? And then when you have your list, write over these attributes of God in, in big red sharpie, the word unchanging. He will never be less than he has always been. Go with God today. Thank you.